Hello everyone, today we are going to take a look and review the Marvel Legends Ultron. I got them at Ross for like $6 and here's the packaging if any of you guys are wondering. It's pretty cheap too. I can't believe that these toys are at Ross even though they just came out last year. I guess there's a lot of extras and I don't know. But who cares, I got it for cheap. And he does come with a builder figure piece for um, Iron Monger right here. Pretty cool, I like the flame effect on him. And I do have the Marvel Select uh, Ultron. I do like him way much better though. Because this one, it's okay. But the Marvel Select Ultron is like 20 times better. Here's proof that I have the toy and I'm not a liar. Even though I'm a faggot for doing this. So, yeah. Back to the toy. Let's get to articulation first. His head goes up really nice and far back. And it goes down pretty good too. He does have an ab crunch, but it doesn't work too much going back, but it doesn't work great going forward. And arms go forward and back. The uh, shoulder piece right here does come up, so that does uh, that does help it with the articulation. It doesn't hinder it at all, as you can tell from right here. And bicep swivel. Double joint elbows. Wrist rotation. And wrist hinge. Wrist hinge. I said that funny. And his waist rotates too. But mine's just really loose as you can tell. See? What the hell? I just like literally just killed Ultron. That's why you shouldn't do that kids. <laughs> okay. Uh, ball joint legs. Legs go forward. Back. And double joint knees. And rotates at the boot. And goes up and down. There's no ankle pivot but it does rotate left and right. So I guess that's okay. But it doesn't go up. Uh, up and down too good though on my figure. See, as you can tell. Mm, 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 mm. Okay, maybe it does go up and down pretty good. I'm just over exaggerating. But as you can tell, if you look closely at my toy, the leg on the left side or right over chin, it's really crooked. And I can't fix it for some reason. I don't want to do the hot water trick for some reason. But yeah, my leg came out crooked. Just like my penis, but yeah. Came out crooked, so that sucks. But the toy does have some nice uh, blue detail, and or, I mean blue shading throughout this uh, armor or suit, whatever you want to call it. You can see it, like it's right here too, inside the light, uh, inside the leg part, and also inside the arms or whatever, and inside the stomach area or torso, and over here too, and some right here too on the neck part. So I do like how they added some shading. This is pretty much the same uh, toy. If you guys have the titanium, man, this is basically the same figure and everything. Except for the head's different. And I'm pretty sure the shoulder pads are different too. But I could be wrong. Also, I do like how the shoulder pads are like pearlescent white right here. And they're just, and they're just not silver like this. So that was pretty cool how they added that. Well, a couple complaints I have about this toy is that the boots look really, really big. That looks huge, dude. That looks like some Shaquille O'Neal shoes. And I think it would be really cool if someone made a custom cyborg out of this toy. I can really see, like, someone making, like, a custom t tie cyborg. If you just swap the head out and, like, sculpt your own head and just take the shoulder pads out and color some blackness in him. I think that would be really cool, too. So, yeah. This has pretty much been my review on the Marvel Legends Ultron. So, let's do a comparison before the video ends. This is him right next to his other friend in the wave, Mark 42, and they match up pretty good in scale. Oh, here's the back too, if you guys are wondering. I do like how this is detailed right here. Get the Marvel Select one though, it's way better, but it's a little bit more pricey, but I got this for $5, so I ain't complaining. Oh, wait, let me get a little closer. Oh, that looks scary, dude. I hate... I would hate to watch this video right now. It looks scary. I do wish they had colored them out black though inside. Because like the Marvel Select one, it's black. So I thought that would be really cool. So yeah. Thanks for watching. And bye. Do your homework kids.